Singularity versus Oxygen. Must win. This, this is a must win situation. Must win and Singularity are a tough team, so this is legit. Oxygen need to focus up now. It's the last grid of the split. Um, they've still, I believe, got a chance to take down the entire grid, just get the bragging rights over Vitality because BDS have beaten Vitality in game five in the group stage. So if Vitality lose to, or not if, when Vitality lose to Jesse Esports, Oxygen, they have an option to make that run all the way to the finals, beat Jesse in the finals and take the top spot in the grid. Wow, what an accomplishment that would be. What a beating story. Jesse once, not only once, but beating Jesse twice. Yeah. To win it all as well. To take Incredible. everything. That's what they're going for right now, I believe. I'm just going to double check that for you guys. But yeah, at the moment, Vitality have a lead on Oxygen by 133 points. So if they lose their next round, they're only going to gain 30. That'll put them on 993 at the end of the uh, at the end of this entire thing. So yeah, a grid win tonight. Oxygen would be winning their first ever grid. They'd have to beat Jesse to do it. But before they can think about all that, they've got to handle Singularity, who have just opened the scoring off Godspell's shot. Not benched. He is playing, and he is opening the scoring. 1-0. I, I think the mods are going to change the title, guys. Don't worry. That's uh, that's going to be done. Who let this guy back on the field? I thought he was benched. But no, he's back. God, Smilla is back. That last play, you know, the ball went above the net. Chaussette gave a little bit of a hop there, and I think God, Smilla saw it and was able to put that, put that ball wide to the far post and catch Chaussette out. And it is not a great start here for Oxygen in this must-win match. We are down one goal. Oh, could have and, been two. And yeah, only by the, the grace of singularity there are we not down by two. Very, very close there. Pharaoh is, uh, I think, getting bumped on the goal line just slightly, so he was slightly out of position for the save, but it hit the bar. So Oxygen will have to be thankful for their fourth player on that one. Nice shot by Breezy. Azrael's got some phenomenal positioning, though, able to cover the entire goal, especially that far side where the shot was headed. But will Godsmilla be able to continue this run of farm? He's a very solid player, and, you know, Oxygen were probably not ready to be playing against him today. They've, you know, seen that bench graphic. They're, it's probably still fresh in their memory. I don't, they must have not seen the meme unbenched graphic. Uh, yeah, what a... What a change of pace that is. You go into the lobby and then you're like, wait a minute, Godsmill is playing. What? When did that happen? That first goal probably went in because they were all on Twitter trying to look for the new unbenched graphic. Yeah, they're like, wait, wait, wait. Are they cheating? Are they is using a player who's not on the roster? Where was this announcement made? And when? <laughs> Great flick by Chasset. Breezy will quite easily deflect it into the crossbar, though, and he's landed well. And now Hibbs. Gibbs' favorite player with a huge shot. Well, saved by Farah, but the striking versus singularity is impressive in game one. Astral corner ball rebound intercepted by Breezy. Nice positioning by him. Oh, Astral oh, no. catching the oh! there. Oh, what a missed. He's going to be benched after that. Godsmiller with the double post on the open net. What a disaster. Luckily, they still lead by one. I, I said it was a 4v3 earlier on with a crossfire playing for Oxygen. Now it's a 6v3. They've got both posts as well. Incredible. The tweet has been drafted. How you play the rest of this game will determine whether or not it gets deleted. God smell it. Singularity, of their, they've got their finger hovering on that mouse button. They're ready to click tweet as soon as if, if they lose the series. God smell it is getting benched again. I feel like they should do that regularly. They should bench and unbench him. Just uh, <laughs> every time something happened, like mid-series, benched. Then, oh, he gets the game winner, unbenched. <laughs> just keep him on the edge of his seat, on the edge of his bench, I should say. Imagine they only announce benchings. Oh, true, they just <laughs> they just bench him, and then they bench him again, and people are like, wait, I thought you already benched him. Oh no, we unbenched him, we just don't make graphics for those. Oh God, that would be so great.
<laughs> yeah, we, uh, we only really celebrate the benchings around here. But... <laughs> I, what I want to see on the Singularity Twitter is, you know I'm in the top right corner when you go to a Twitter profile, it shows you the six most recent media uh, like pictures or videos in a little display. I want to see mm -hmm. all six of them be the same. Like I want to see that Godsmilla bench graphic where he's just standing there, <laughs> standing there with a smug look in his face. Until I see all six of their most recent graphics all be notifying me about him being benched, I'm going to be a sad man. <laughs> oh, man. That is a first game in the books for Singularity. Gotta gotta tell you, after the dominating fashion in which we dispatched with Jesse Esports, I figured we would actually stand a bit better of a chance here in this game, but um, Singularity looking like the team with the initiative there. It's time for Occident to repeat the pass. Let's see if they can come back from behind and get into the playoffs for the final grade of the, of the split. We are on Shaw Set Cam here on the Player Cam stream. Twitch.tv slash smells worthless. Shout out to Nice Bathroom for the Shaw Set request. Your wish has been granted. We will, of course, go to Astral next game. And then after that, we will go to a Singularity player if we are still playing. Probably Godsmilla. But, uh, Probably the benched man himself. Yeah, if you guys want to watch both, remember to use the exclamation mark multi command. We don't have a well, we don't have the ability to use squad stream yet because um, smells worse. Because I'm an not, affiliate. Not yet partnered. Yeah. So yeah, just uh, not only to help him get partnered, but also if you want to watch that POV stream, be sure to use the multi command, multi stream command in chat. Ooh, brave for Farah to let the post save that one again for him. Good read. Dignitas 4-0 Vitality right now? No, that's not, no way. No way did Jesse just whip out the 4-0 in game one. Surely not. I expected them to wait a little bit to ease Vitality into the slaughter. Well, it makes sense. Jesse doing so many rank twos with Alpha, learning his game plan, learning his moves, yeah. his strategies, laying in wait. That's actually amazing. It, it just just prepare folks for this Jesse sub to be more of a regularity. Good clear by Farah, good beat. Winning the race to the ball. Hibbs is easily able to get back and clear this though. Singularity playing a very fast series for their standards. Double commit by Breezy and Gosmilla. Breezy's done exceptionally well though to pinch that off the ceiling and to safety. Farah with a free shot. Hibbs with the save. It looks like Oxygen will need to do better than that if they're going to get the ball past this tough Singularity squad. Breezy. The little flicky poo there off the wall. Doesn't do much. Farah with a nice through ball there. Could have been either a shot or a pass. But Singularity is able to clear the ball from their half and stop that oxygen push. Let's see what Astral can do here from the ceiling. Wow. That's impressive. He didn't have a lot of boost to play with, but that pinch controlled and accurate. And maybe now, oh no, she'll set half flips away from rule number two. That's going to be a yellow card. Any more of that and she'll set will be off the pitch. And it'll be a 2v3 for the rest of the day. Got to be careful now, got to play a clean game. The refs watch it. That shot goes wide, but Astro goes for the demo. And Farah turns to put that ball in the back of the net. Bang. Great placement, Farah. Spotted the goalkeeper slightly off the line, just needed to keep that as high as possible, and he's done so. A perfect response for Oxygen. Oh, interesting kickoff for Singularity there. Hibbs slowing down his approach, so it's not very easy to read fake. Oh, never Hibbs mind. Hibbs is disconnected. Here, uh, here we are thinking that he has gone for a fake kickoff. He's left, and wait, they say. Oh, he's back. Thanks. Sorry. Wait, what's what's happening here? Hibbs, was he in the Fennec before this, or did he just switch from the Octane? Hold up. Was Hibbs in the Fennec here? Am I seeing things? Somebody clip. Was he in the Somebody octane? Somebody quick, clip it. 
I feel like Hips is in the Octane, but no, apparently he was in the Fennec. No way did he just go for a car change of it, seriously. <laughs> no way. Epic. Hey, man, if there's a week uh. to do it, it's week nine. <laughs> week nine is the great. <laughs> Where He's apparently like, uh, anything goes. If you're <laughs> casting, you can talk about Jesse no matter what game you're in. You can switch your car mid mid game, whatever. <laughs> There's no way that he did that. I I, it's, I was under the impression that he was Octane up until now. I don't know why. I must have got him confused with um, uh, with God's Miller. Or no, sorry, is it? Yes, it is God's Miller in the Octane. But yeah, apparently some, it switched out pretty certain he was in the Fennec before, so my mistake, I was, I, uh, I'm the one who's seeing things. Great save by Breezy, not for the first time in this series. Vera going for the double, and he's Ooh. let that go slightly out of reach. And Astral takes his time here, but he can't win the 50 against both players. Hibbs picks up the ball, and this time decides to stay in the lobby. Really weird oh. there. He might, he might have just like disconnected. Is that a known bug, uh, guys? Is that something that's happening regularly? People just disconnected for private lobbies. Oh, Hips off the bar. Breezy, likewise. Astral collects it. Ten seconds left in game number two. Oxidant just holding on to this one goal lead. Pretty uncomfortable position though. Farah is motionless. Breezy's on the back wall. Oh, that was a good try, oh. but it was a bit too far out of reach. And Oxygen maintain that one goal advantage. You know, respect to Oxygen as well has to be has to be given because when Hibs disconnected, they did wait for him to get back in there before playing on. Um, as far as I'm aware, they don't have to do that. Uh, I would be surprised if it's uh, anywhere in the yeah. rules that, that you have get to, to do choose, that. Yeah, they get to choose, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the uh, in the rules it's just a play on situation if somebody disconnects um, in the middle of a game. So, uh, yeah, Oxygen feeling a little bit uh, sportsmanlike there. Um, great to see. You love to see it, these teams getting along. I'm just surprised at how fast he got back in the game. Yeah, you find that uh, private match. A couple players have been saying that they can't find the private matches. They're taking five minutes to get back into a scrim. Hibbs doesn't have any of those issues. Memory is spot on. He's already downloaded that um, the entire UI. Oh, oh man, Astral didn't slow down for a breather when he took off for that aerial crossbar saves singularity that's what you want to see from astral you've got to see the fast plays and if you want to see the fast plays first person pov then head over to matt stream switch out to before it's smells worthless gonna be following astral's pov for this entire game absolutely astral cam for game number three this is turning into a little bit of a banger of a matchup here which is good to see. There's going to be enough blowouts with Jesse playing this week. Obviously in favor of Jesse's team. Yeah, of course. You know, I thought the Twitch must be having me on when they said that Jesse had decided to 4-0 uh, Vitality in game one of their series, expecting more of a slow start, you know, more of a merciful start by uh, Jesse Esports, but I can confirm that is indeed the score that's been reported for Liquipedia, 4-0. A big fat O for Vitality, and that's huge! Jesse, not only helping his own team to progress, but also helping Oxygen in their quest to win the great overall standings. It all starts with Vitality losing in the lower bracket. Pass outside to Astral. Oh, over the top. He's just... I'm constantly impressed at his ability to generate offense from a, basically a standstill. Just. Go straight up in the air with the ball and make something happen. It's mesmerizing. Chassette passes down to the middle. Nice shot here from Astral. Godsmilla facing backwards, but does well. Makes the save. Now Hibbs is driving downfield, and the Fennec that he wasn't using halfway through the last <laughs> game. <laughs> unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. <laughs> Probably, probably uh, just me misremem misremembering. I want to highlight, but anyway. The defensive wall of Breezy has been really difficult to get the ball past. Great positioning by him. Um, Oxygen have been pressing more in this game than they did in the first game of the series. So, well, more since the first game, it's been mostly Oxygen in, in offense. But oh wait, Breezy's just did he trip on the post? Just as I credit his impressive defense, he accidentally flips. Maybe it has to be. Yeah, he's just way off the goal line. No, maybe not so much an accidental flip as an intentional half flip after realizing that he was out of position. 
craziness. We are now in a 1-1 situation, almost halfway through this match. And it's it's really starting to turn into a bit of a slobber knocker here. Ooh. Brave by Astral to select that by himself the post. You never know if there's going to be an opponent coming at you. Oh! oh! Big time dunk by Breezy. He just redeemed himself. It was Chaussette who got a touch on it, but it was just a baby touch, a little baby touch. Breezy slams it in. Beautiful double. Passing. Baking. Is that is that a is that a thing yet? I don't know. Is that a? I think it might be. I think passing might be one of the new quick chats. Is it? Uh, is it in there? Twitch chat. Help. Keep us updated on the quick chat. Three oh, one. No! God's Miller has just forced an own goal. This is turning into quite a horrendous match for Oxygen Ferra. Just double jumping on the spot there. As the bell rolls by, there's still time left in game three, but got to hurry up here. They've got to fix this. ASAP, lower bracket is unforgiving. All right, confirmation, it is. Passing is a thing. I didn't just make that up. Nice. And it's really impressive. Godzilla just playing for his life, does not want to see that bench again. Yeah. Woo, Astral, you're nuts! You can read anything! Well played, Farah. Slams it into the middle, and Astral got up so quickly for that one. Very nice block on the goalkeeper's attempted save. Much needed second goal for Oxygen there. Alive once again in game three. I've uh, just noticed on the bracket for Vitality Dignitas, by the way, since I know you guys are also interested in what's happening there. Game two overtime, so 4-0 win for Jesse Esports. In my mind. I think I did Dignitas. Jesse Esports is the correct team name. And overtime game two. So what a crazy series that's turning out to be. RV wins. Oh, okay. So it is going to be um, a, a different script than the first series of the lower bracket run. They swept Triple Trouble. They're not going to sweep Vitality. Not Jesse always looking for new ways to beat uh, different teams. Oh, that oh. is going to find its way in. A nice passing play here from Team Singularity. Godzilla finds Hibbs downfield on the wing. Just a nice little tippy tuppy touch. Touchy, tippy, touchy, <laughs> watchy. Is that what you call those? I just I, I just call it an open net. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was probably called it was open because Hibbs didn't go for power there. He just made sure to put it on target. Um, which is all he needed to do in that position. It's a great communication, as well as accuracy from Team Singularity. Got their two-goal lead back, and now they're shutting down Astral's attempted counter. Breezy off the post. Astral saw it coming. What a flick by him. And now he's playing the chase, but so is Farah. Oh, he's played it right into Hibbs, and I wonder if that was a correct option. Now she'll set it to the bar. Oxygen have to say goodbye to one of their best chances. For some reason, I thought you were going to say, have to say goodbye to one of their players. Like somebody got voted off the island or something. Somebody got benched. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, what happened? What did I miss? <laughs> Ooh, Astral with a rare misread. Almost running out of boost as well. Don't know that he could have made the play. And this is scary here. Wow. Nobody rotating back. Ugh. This is not what you want to see if you're a fan of breathing. Yeah, Oxygen starting to struggle here. I mean, it can happen in these games where there's less time remaining than you really need to get the, the sufficient chances to get that equalizer. You know, you have to press a bit more aggressively. But that's only half the story. Oxygen, before that, were also pressing a bit aggressively. And I think the both the third and the fourth goal that they've conceded, no, the fourth and fifth, sorry, were on... Singularity counterattacks. That's a lot better. Really nicely done by Astral, facilitating Chaussette's goal, but very little time now to score two more goals. I don't know about this one. Oh, Astral, the mid-air murder on the way to the net there, and unfortunately, it's going to be too little too late for this Oxygen team. It's well played by Singularity. They defended 
far better than Oxygen did. That's the difference here. Singularity effectively saving multiple shots. Got to get past uh, Singularity here if they are also going to be able to make playoffs for the ninth time in a row. I think uh, G2 are the only team who managed to do that in North America. Did G2 make playoffs yesterday and the week before? Twitch chat. I think that um, I think that they did. That's the position Oxiner Oxiner are in. They need two games in a row here. Singularity will most likely be sitting back and trying to get those counter attacks going. Oh, that's a great rebound shot set with an incredibly quick double. You can see the panic that that instilled on Hibs on the goal line. Wow, that's a fast approach. It doesn't really matter where you hit that because you're hitting it so early. The defender just has no idea where you're going with it. And Oxiden get a much better start in game number four. Looks like it might be set to continue. Farah goes for the boost and the center ball at the same time. Attempting to set up a pressure play. Shot set misses his center. Farah won't. Composure from Godsmilla. Now the run down the middle. It's a great ball chase there. Oxiden knew that it was dangerous to leave that one uncontested. Shot set with another rebound. This one far easier than the last. And Oxiden lead by two. Gotta wonder what Breezy was thinking in this position. Just turned away from it. Went for some kind of in and out save. That appears to me like it was never going to work. I don't know. Um, maybe he expected that ball to roll up the wall. That's the only thing I can uh, imagine going through his mind that would have led to him going for that save. Either way, Oxygen got exactly the position they want. Oh, what a flick. Breezy from far away from the goal. Scoops one in off the wall. That's beautiful. Leaning back into the backflip and sends the ball flying forwards into the Oxygen net. Nobody saw that one coming. That setup was gorgeous. It, made, it meant that he didn't need to slow down at all. He didn't need to move his uh, joystick between the aerial setup and the flick itself. Saves a lot of time. Builds up a lot of momentum. And that helps to generate tons and tons of power. A very explosive play, um, which wouldn't be possible with more conventional flicks. So he won. It's been majority breezy defense today that's been impressive to me, but this guy, all split long, has been making big plays in the offensive half of the field. I'm sure that that's given Singularity confidence. Good job by Chaucet. He's closed down the center ball now. Back pass to Ferra off the 50-50. He takes his time. But Oxiden needs to be careful here. They, you know, have to defend quite a lot of challenges. So the name of the game is not to play these challenges too risky, not to go for big wins on the 50-50s, to try not to lose them. That's a, oh, that's one way to lose them. Off the inside of the post. Just like game one, Oxiden saved by the upright. Hibbs into the corner. Astral's there. Now Breezy pre-flips off the wall, but he's not caught that one as cleanly as his previous attempt. These center balls for... Singularity continue to impress. And wow, is that a confirmation? Dignitas 2-1. I'm sure by Dignitas you guys all mean Jesse Esports. 2-1 over Reno Vitality. Not many people would have expected that, but these things are possible when you have a super sub like Jesse waiting in the wings. Chance for Farah. Plays the mind game. Underdunk attempt is a bit too Ooh. high on it though. Hibbs is there. Yeah, welcome back, Smellsworth. It's uh, been a cracking game four. Oxiden with an early two goal lead. But Breezy, with potentially goal of the series, managed to flick in one for Singularity. There's a good energy in this lobby right now. Godsmilla avoiding being benched. Oxygen trying to stay alive in the grid this week. And of course, the rumors of the legend Jesse himself continue to flow into the chat. This is, this is week nine. 
and you can feel it in your loins. You can. It just it has more meaning to it. You know, Oxiden going for their ninth playoff uh, placement in a row every single time. The only team in Europe who've been able to do that. Great save by Breezy again. But he's not going to beat fair to this one. Won't try. Oh, we've got some really good placement on the clear also. Loving what I'm seeing from Breezy in goal most of the time. He's had a couple of mistakes positionally, but when he's in the right position, his mechanics are phenomenal. Just getting the, his car into position, um, goal side of the ball, putting in strong saves and clears. A little pinch coming out from Godsmilla. Finds his way to Hibbs, and he almost sneaks one by the Oxygen defense. Being a little bit lackadaisical there, the near post. And now Breezy taking it off the the ceiling there. I think this is going to be an opportunity again for Godsmilla. Taps it to himself. Oh, that ball almost makes its way in off of Astral. But they managed to keep it out, maintain that one goal lead. This ball is not down. Oh, it, it is, is no. down. It is absolutely down. If we can just get justice. all the way there, it will be glorious. Well, we'll see what happens here in this game. We're following on Breezy Cam, which is, of course, Singularity's Astral. Oof, they don't have a shot set 45, though. He finds himself on the receiving end. Beautiful. Of this small Frenchman's dainty touch into the net. Yeah, I bet they wish they had a shot set 45 after seeing that. He was extremely close. Actually, no, he did score a crack in double touch in the last game. It's a very, very fast uh, setup. Where I don't know how, he, how on earth he read it. He just blasted the ball into the bar. And then uh, in the next split second, rebounded it on target. Had the goalkeeper in a panic. Because it all happened so fast. Now, this one is a bit more of a slow um, setup. But the accuracy was unanswered. And despite Singularity's best efforts, find themselves in another losing position. It seems like when Oxygen avoid the long counter-attacks that Singularity have been succeeding with over and over again today, when Oxygen can shut those down, when they can be careful with their third man positioning, Singularity's threats are far more limited. They've got you know a couple of solo play potential, or a little bit of solo play potential from Breezy, but not really much more than that. And it's 2-0, Astro with this little roll. Minute in, Oxygen are back in it. Singularity's just getting beat to the ball here. Um, sort of surprising to see that much distance between Breezy and that and that ball, but I can't tell if when he went up, he, he actually collided with one of the, the Oxygen players. I don't know, it was, it was, Perhaps, it was hard yeah. to tell if there was an actual collision there, but either way, you, you expect a little bit tighter defense from Singularity, especially after how good it looked in game number one, but you know, sometimes uh, the, the pressure of a good offense will make a defense look like it's not playing well, when in actuality it's just being made to play that way. Double by Breezy, saved by Farah. That was a really critical save. Now Astral, oh, he had most of the goal covered, I think. Hibbs was only able to shoot into the post on that occasion. Would have been a very nice save had Astral been forced to make one. Great demo by Chaussette. It's almost on target. Oh, Godsmilla gets goal side and prevents the third goal for Oxiden. They're still looking for it though. Breezy rushes the ball clear, didn't have to. It was only a fake aerial by Chaussette. And now everybody's panicking in the Singularity defense. They've been beaten to the ball enough times and now they just assume that Oxiden are beating them to everything and they're having to go without thinking really. And Oxiden, when they hold back, actually collect free ball after free ball that's being soft clear towards them. It's Hibbs, shuts down the near. The door at the near post, infield pass, show set to Farah, and that is the third player of Oxygen getting on the score sheet. One for each of them, and they are dominating the ace match. This this actually looks more like what we expect from Oxygen. You know, this kind of feels like for the first time today they're really playing on on you know the, to their full potential. I guess is I was going to say yeah. all all their cylinders, but you know to their full potential the speed at which they want to play and the yeah. offensive efficiency that we're used to seeing. Wow, so game four, Vitality versus Jesse Esports also going to overtime. That's one goal away from Jesse eliminating Vitality from the tournament and uh, probably ending Alpha 54's professional career in the process. 
Just tilting him out at the scene. Getting him to not only honest all Rockley get him embarrassment. Oh, what a dunk by Godsmiller! Get him off the bench! What a read! Who does this? Who rolls the ball? The goalkeeper backflips to the spot and predicts exactly where the ball is going to be. <laughs> One goal. That's maybe the beginning for SNG. Started to feel like Godsmilla skipped his first series and just tuned into the Jesse versus Oxygen series to figure out what the new best practices were. Oh! In offensive Rocket League wow. and Breezy with a little air dribble across the pitch here and suddenly we got ourselves a game. Chassette, where are you going, buddy? Yeah, Chassette in no man's land. Too close to the play to make a save. Too far away from the play to challenge it. And Breezy's delayed shot was phenomenal. The control that this guy has on the ball in offense is really up there with some of the best in the region. And that could have easily been a third. Hibs was just beaten to it. Oxiden were comfortable. Now it's a very, very sticky situation. And they're still in control. It's one of those moments where you just got to try and forget about the, t you know, the fact that you've conceded two goals in five seconds. Just settle down. You're still in the lead. Still the better team, um, at least as far as this season's results would tell you. And you know, a singularity missed out on that top 16 for the major qualification. They're battling for relegation from the grid. Huge opportunity for them. Huge series for them as well as for Oxiden here. In the grid standings. It might even be more important for a singularity if you think about it, because making the grid automatically for the next split means you don't have to qualify for any of the RLCSX events, which is a big, big deal. Not having to play through all those terrifying qualifiers. That's where Singularity are headed unless they can get another goal. Oh! Oh, Chassette with a nice strike Whoa. down. And oh! great save there from Breezy. He was, you know, to the side of the net there and was able to read the play quite well. The ball I expected to go in was actually the ball that Astral shot. Oh, that's going to sneak oh! by! Oh! What? Two players back for Oxiden, and neither of them able to catch up to it. Breezy just sniped this goal. They must have expected him to hit that down the line, but he's gone for the long shot. And from three goals ahead to a tie game, Singularity have come back. That is a bit of a throw by Oxiden. Here we are in game five, Oxygen fighting for their life. Singularity is as well, both teams with a lot on the line. That ball is stuffed out by the Ox or by the Singularity defense, excuse me. While we're in game five here, Jesse Esports first Vitality has also gone to game five with Vitality picking up another overtime. Demo and a dunk for Farah, oh my goodness. That is an aggressive play. He just charged in 1v3 and came out victorious. Wow, wow, wow. Airbus coming through. That's why you don't Crowd park on the Airbus. runway, Matt. <laughs> That's why no. you get out the way when Ferris coming into land. 13 seconds left for Singularity. Breezy's going to go for something here. Oh, he's ran out of boost. And Chaussette's missed it, though. Hibs! Oh, my goodness, he's equalized! Chaussette! Whiffed a routine clear. Any other day of the week he hits that, but the pressure is just too high. And all that work by Farah has been undone. What is happening? Game five, seven seconds left. Four, four. And that, is that going to be a kickoff goal? Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. On player cam, that was highly stressful. Zero seconds left. Hibbs is dribbling it to the middle. Oh, oh what? Oh my goodness. Hibbs, you got to put that away. Free flip rebound off the bar. Hibbs just so close to clutching this series for his team. They might oh, still no. have a chance. It's Breezy. Oh, no. Oh, he puts it in off the post. Astral is out of here. Farrell likewise. That is the most dramatic way for Oxiden's final grid run this split to end. No top spot in the league table for them no nine playoffs in a row no rematch with dignitas in the grand final jesse esports i should say singularity i've come back from behind here and clutched it